Hi everyone, it's Alice and as you can see today we are in front of my bookshelves because we're gonna do a tag and take a look at some cover designs. So I'm pretty sure this is called the book design tag and I will leave a link to the original creator in the description and we're just gonna go through all of these questions and I'm gonna pull books off my shelves as we go because I feel like that's the best way to go about this. The first question is a book you bought primarily or completely because of the cover and I can think of a couple of books that I have up here so I'm gonna open these doors and show you. So I have got these beautiful books by Iris Murdoch and I didn't get these entirely because of the covers. I had sort of heard about this author here and there and I've watched a couple of videos about this author and it really made me want to read her books but then I looked into them and I couldn't find any <laughs> covers that I liked and then Vintage came out with these and because these books are so beautiful I just got all of them. <laughs> so these are all paperbacks and they are absolutely beautiful like I just love the design and it's the kind of paperback that's like really high quality and it has like a matte finish which is my absolute favorite kind of paperback and yeah I just think they're really beautiful they look great on my shelves the design is amazing and still haven't read any of these but <laughs> one day I will the second question is a book you want to buy that has a beautiful cover and I've actually just bought a book that has an amazing cover that I have wanted to read for a while but again I couldn't find an edition that I liked so I'm gonna slightly spoil this month's book haul and show you this book and also show you the other books in this trilogy that are coming out that are amazing. So the book that I got is this one. It's Dawn by Octavia E. Butler and this cover is amazing. Like I just love it. I love the colors and the font and it's just it's doing a lot for me. And this is the first book in a series called Lilith's Brood or the Exogenesis series. And the next books are Adulthood Rights and Imago or Imago. And this is like I think this was first published in the 80s or something so these are not new books but they're new covers for these books and the other ones in the series look amazing they're not out yet but I'll put up a picture of them and they're just stunning and I'm gonna get all of them I think they're all gonna be published this year and they're not like cover buys necessarily because I do want to read them but yeah they are beautiful Question number three is your favorite series design and I'm assuming this means your favorite like book series and not like design series but I don't really know but I think for this maybe my Agatha Christie books so I can't show you all of these because I have like a zillion of them but I really like the minimalistic design of these covers and I feel like the colors are really pretty and they're all kind of different but all the same as well if you know what I mean and yeah, I think it fits the series very well. Question number four is dust jacket, a book with a beautiful dust jacket or something unexpected under the jacket. And for this, I'm gonna have to look around a little bit. <laughs> All right, so for this, I have found two books and both of these are beautiful. They have beautiful dust jackets and they have something beautiful beneath. The dust jackets. So first we have Circe by Madeline Miller. This is obviously a gorgeous book and it's shiny and I love it. And then underneath the dust jacket it looks like this which is amazing. This also has beautiful end papers which I know wasn't a part of the question but like the whole design of this book is just amazing. The second book is this one. This is The Sleeper and the Spindle and this is a really special one because it has the kind of like dust jacket that you can see through so you can see what's beneath it through the dust jacket which for some reason just does a lot for me so the dust jacket in and of itself is beautiful but then when you take it off you get to see this i think this is such a cool way of designing a book and i wish that it was done more this also has a little skull on the back which is like oddly cute for a skull and you know this whole book is just absolutely beautifully designed and I really wish they would make like 
more of these types of books. Next, we're gonna take a look at Naked Hardbacks. So a gorgeous book with no dust jacket. And I can think of especially one that I really wanna show you and that I also have some in the back here that are beautiful. So the first book I thought of for this was this book, which is one of my favorite covers ever. This is The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night by fellow booktuber Jen Campbell. And this design is just, honestly, it's perfect. And what makes it so perfect isn't just that it's beautiful, but it just fits the book so incredibly well. I've also got these beautiful books. These are the VMC classics, I think they're called. And I have more in the back here. I have a bunch of them. And they're just beautiful. Like, one of the reasons I started collecting these books is because I loved the covers so much. And I told myself that you can never go wrong with classics, which you kind of can, but we'll just ignore that. <laughs> these are just absolutely beautiful. They're kind of like simple, but they have just the best feel to them. And yeah, they're just really pretty. Then we have question number six, which is a beautiful paperback. And I have a lot of those. So I'm just gonna peruse my shelves and try to find some of the best ones and show you. So I have way too many beautiful paperbacks to really show you all of them. So I just picked a few that caught my eye today that I figured I would show you for this. First, we have Ubik by Philip K. Dick. I think this cover design is absolutely amazing and I have actually read this and it does fit the book really well. Then we have this book, which was for the most part a cover by actually. I am pretty sure that I've read this. It's a short story collection and I just thought the colors were really beautiful and I do love like watercolor painting. So I was really drawn to this. I've also got this, which is Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. This is just a beautiful book. I also really love the spine. I think it looks really good on my shelf. And yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And then we have these two books, which are like poetry books. It's a poem for every winter day and a poem for every autumn day. And the cover of these are some of my favorite covers ever. There is a spring version of this, which I have ordered. And then there's a summer version that I'm gonna get so that I have all four and they're all like, they're just so gorgeous. The second question is a nonfiction book with a lovely cover. And I'm gonna show you two books that I can see over there. So these two books are both nonfiction and they are absolutely gorgeous. This is The Feather Thief by Kirk Wallace Johnson. This is one of my favorite nonfiction books. It's like a really, fun and exciting book and yeah I really love the colors of this it just I really wish more nonfiction would make covers like these because I feel like sometimes they're really boring and they don't have a lot of color but you know if you make nonfiction books like these I think you're gonna sell more of them and then we also have Wild Journeys by Bruce Ansley this is obviously beautiful I love these kinds of like I guess illustrated covers and I love when it goes all the way around on the dust jacket and yeah this is actually one of my favorite covers ever for nonfiction I think. The second to last question is a book with great end papers and I cannot answer this with anything else than my Persephone books. So the Persephone classics all come in these like gray, really minimalistic books. And I love the design of the outside of these, but I think it's really cool that all of the end papers of their books are all different. And I'm pretty sure all of the end papers are like wallpapers from around the time the book was originally published, which I think is really cool. So we have end papers like this one. This is a Dorothy Whipple book. We have this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors of this one. And a really cool thing about Persephone books is that if you order from their website, they will send you a bookmark in the same like design as the end papers, which I think is a really cool idea. We also have this, which is really lovely. Here you can see the bookmark, which I've kept in here. And then lastly, we have 
this one, which is just beautiful. The ninth and last question is a book that looks just as gorgeous spine out as it does face out. And again, for this, I'm just gonna have a little look and see what I can find. So for this, I'm gonna have to say these books. These are all by Vintage and Vintage really kills it with their like book designs. Like the Iris Murdoch books that I showed you were also vintage books. And I just love the design of these ones. These are Jane Austen's books. These are her thickest ones, so they have the thickest spines and you can see most of the design. And then we have Anna Karenina, which is also a really thick book. And the spine of this one is just as beautiful as the cover. All right, so those were all of the questions and all of the books that I had to show you. It does say to tag some friends if you want to, so if you want to do this, consider yourself tagged. And if you make one of these videos, let me know because I love seeing these types of videos. I love <laughs> gushing over book design and book covers because it's one of my favorite things. I would also love to know what your favorite book cover is, what your favorite type of design for book covers is, and like, Maybe what your favorite color for covers is. I would love to know all about it. And yeah, links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description if you're interested. And I will see you soon. Bye.